Greenville Downtown Airport IATA, GMU, ICAO, KGMU, FAA LID, GMU is three miles east of Greenville, in Greenville County, South Carolina. It is owned by the Greenville Airport Commission and is the busiest general aviation airport in South Carolina. The National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2011 to 2015 categorized it as a general aviation facility. Topic: History GMU opened in 1928 as Greenville Municipal Airport. In 1930 it received its first airmail flight. Amelia Earhart flew demonstration flights at GMU in an autogiro for the Beach Nut Company in November 1931. Eastern Airlines began scheduled flights in the late 1930s and Delta Airlines arrived in 1945. During World War II the United States Army Air Forces used the airfield for training. The airport was used jointly by the Army Air Forces Flying Training Command, Southeast Training Center later Eastern Flying Training Command as a contract glider training school, operated by Southern Airways, Inc. The 19th AAF Glider Training Detachment was a basic training school active from September 1942 until March 1943 using Aeronca TG-5 and Leicester Kaufman TG-4A training gliders. The airport was then reassigned to Air Technical Service Command and used as a supply and maintenance depot until being returned to full civil control in October 1945. Until 1962 GMU then GRL was the commercial airport for the Greenville area. In April 1957 it had 13 weekday departures on Eastern, 4 on Delta and 4 on Southern. Eastern had one non-stop to Richmond, but no other non-stops out of Greenville exceeded 200 miles. Commercial service moved to Greenville Spartanburg Airport when it opened October 15, 1962. It was from this airport that the fatal flight of the Leonard Skinnerd Convair 240 departed on October 20, 1977, by this time named Greenville Downtown Airport. The recently renovated terminal won a national award. Topic: Facilities. Greenville Downtown Airport covers 385 acres (156 hectares) at an elevation of 1,048 feet (319 meters). It has two asphalt runways, 1 19th is 5,393 by 100 feet 1,644 by 30 meters and 10 28ths is 3,998 by 80 feet 1,219 by 24 meters. It has two helipads, each concrete 50 by 50 feet, 15 by 15 meters. The airport commission recently completed extensive runway, taxiway, and apron improvements, a major terminal renovation, and construction of a new road that made additional land available for development. Located at GMU are many companies that provide aviation services like aircraft rental, flight instruction, aircraft maintenance, helicopter services, aircraft management, fuel service, aircraft sales, air charter and air taxi. See, http colon slash slash www.greenvilledowntownairport.com slash index.html for details. GMU has a restaurant, the Runway Cafe. See, http colon slash slash www.runwaycafegmu.com slash for details. GMU also has a public park where people can learn about aviation. See, http colon slash slash www.greenvilledowntownairport.com slash runwayparkatmu.html 
In 2016, the airport had 91,612 aircraft operations, average 412 per days, 65% general aviation, 32% air taxi, and 3% military. 410 aircraft are based at this airport. Governance <inaudible> 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 The Greenville Downtown Airport is governed by a five-person appointed commission authorized by Act 919. Two appointees each from city and county councils and one at large serve three-year terms. Topic economic impact The South Carolina Statewide Aviation System Plan and Economic Impact Report released in 2018 concluded that in 2017 the Greenville Downtown Airport GMU had a significant annual economic impact on the state of South Carolina and our local region. They determined that GMU had the following direct and indirect, induced economic impact, employment, 547 payroll, $24.9 million economic activity, $68.8 million. <laughs> Air traffic GMU's air traffic is heavier than all other general aviation airports, and topped by only three commercial airports Myrtle Beach International, Charleston International, Air Force Base and Columbia Metropolitan in South Carolina. HTTP colon slash slash www.scaronautics.com slash reports slash RPT operations 7033-6204. PDF Topic: Based aircraft. GMU has more based aircraft than any other airport in South Carolina. HTTP colon slash slash www.scaronautics.com slash reports slash RPTBA's planes four three three seven three five zero eight. PDF. Topic Awards The FAA Southern Region recently selected GMU to receive its General Aviation Airport Safety Award. The award is presented to a general aviation airport in the southeast that makes outstanding efforts to increase flight safety. GMU accomplished this by completing numerous safety-enhancing projects. Of particular note, GMU was the first general aviation airport in the nation to install an engineered material arresting system in the latter part of 2003. EMIS rapidly and safely decelerates aircraft that have overrun the active runway by utilizing energy-absorbing material. In the summer of 2006, this system was credited with saving five passengers and a $20 million Falcon 900 jet that overran runway 1 due to a brake malfunction. The FAA Southern Region selected Joe Frasher, Airport Director of GMU, as the 2008 General Aviation Airport Manager of the Year. This award is presented to a general aviation airport manager in the southeast who makes outstanding efforts to increase flight safety. Mr. Frasher was instrumental in completing numerous safety-enhancing projects at GMU over the last 26 years. The staff of the Greenville Downtown Airport is distinguished in its commitment to continually increasing flight safety. Said Rusty Chapman, recently retired manager of the airport's division, FAA Southern Region, "...they accomplished a significant number of safety upgrades while still successfully operating the state's busiest general aviation airport." The award was presented to Mr. Frasher at the 2009 FAA Communications Conference in Atlanta on January 30, 2009. Topic. See also 
South Carolina World War II Army Airfields 29th Flying Training Wing World War II List of airports in South Carolina <laughs>